In 2018, the BJP emerged as the single largest party in Karnataka, but it was well short of the halfway mark of 113 in an assembly that has 220 seats. And because of that, because it fell short, it could not immediately form the government. The Congress and the JDS came together and beat the BJP to the finishing line. And the Congress and the JDS formed the government in Karnataka in 2018. That government didn't last long, but the BJP certainly seems to have learned some lessons from it. Now, BJP largely has a good hold in the Lingayat community. Now, B.S. Yadurapa also comes from the Lingayat community. He was chief minister of the BJP. When he stepped down, Basavraj Bumai, who is another Lingayat leader, took charge as the chief minister of Karnataka. Now that B.S. Yadurapa has retired from electoral politics, his son Vijendra will contest from Yadurapa's seat in Shivmoga. So the BJP will try and retain its dominance over the Lingayat community. But one community where the BJP has not had much of an influence is the largely agrarian community, the Vokaligas. Now they constitute about 15% of the entire voters. And that's why this is something that the BJP wants to focus on. And it's taken a big gamble with the Vokaligas this time around. In 2018, the BJP only fielded 28 Vokaliga candidates in its entire list. This time, in its first list, when it announced 189 seats, it had already given tickets to 41 Vokaliga candidates. So the BJP is ready to take on a big gamble with the Vokaliga community. Now, the Vokaliga community also largely based in the old Mysore region, a region where the BJP does not have much of a dominance. It's hoping it can change that because this region accounts for 59 seats in the Karnataka Assembly. The Vokaliga community also traditionally has been seen as a party that... Uh, uh, the Vokaliga community has traditionally voted for the JDS. And that's also one of the reasons H.D. Kumaraswamy, H.D. Devagoda, H.D. Revanna are focusing on this region to keep their influence on the Vokaliga community intact. But the BJP is trying to undercut the influence of the JDS in the event that it wants to form the government in Karnataka without the help of the JDS. The BJP already has set itself an ambitious target of 150 seats and it wants to make sure that it reaches well past the halfway mark on its own. And in that sense, the Vokaliga community and the votes it gets for those candidates as well will be a crucial step. Can BJP's Vokaliga gamble pay off in this election? Thank you.